Okay, welcome back. Last time we managed to make our way out of Ikebukuro, and we made it through one of the mansions, which led us to come out in Ueno. Then we went to Ueno, basically registered the terminal. Then we went down to Akihabara and basically kind of wandered around there for a little bit. We defeated another Devil Summoner, and we got another memory board, but I can't use it yet because I need to find Steven. And in between episodes, I managed to figure out, out some new infusions. So I'm now going to fuse Neja with Tamuz with uh, Oncart. And this will give me a, uh, I forgot what it's called, a Yaxa. Yaxa, that's what it's called. A level 52 demon. It has Moragion, it has Yonga, and it has Pyralardi, and it hits pretty hard. Uh, in the last episode, we also managed to defeat the final two Guardians of Tokyo. So we defeated Jikokusen, I think. Yeah, we defeated Jikokuten and Bishamonten. Bishamonten gave significantly more EXP than the other ones did. So I imagine he was, like, the leader. Which kind of makes sense, because I think Bishamonten is, like, a war god or something. And we also managed to find our way through the final mansion, which led us out to Kanda, where we found a mysterious dog, or we can name it Cerberus, just kind of hanging out on the bridge and not letting us pass. So, uh... I'll be investigating that some more soon, because we need to do something to let us- Basically, we need to do something in order to let uh, Cerberus allow us past to go to Tokyo Destiny Land, and I want to check out Akihabara more first, mostly because I'm a bit concerned about actually going to Ueno. I'm mostly concerned about going to Ueno, because Takeshi did warn us that, like, hey, I'm letting you out of the prison in Ikebukuro. But do not go to Ueno. So I kind of want to figure out why is he so, uh, why is he very much not it? Okay, I know exactly why he's against it. What, what's, what to do? Okay, 37 damage. I can probably just rush this thing down, to be honest. Basically, um, I know why he doesn't want me to go to Ueno. And the reason for that is very simple, as we learned from another person in... Uh, from, as we learned from another person in Ikebukuro, it turns out that the, like, main Gaian temple is in, uh, is in Ueno. And that's, that's a lot of enemies. I'm just gonna run from these things. Mar Marcosius? I, okay, I did this in the last episode. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, that's just one Leonard. I can kill that. Wait, what did it hit me with? Okay, I'll be totally honest. I still don't know what the happy status effect does. I genuinely don't think it does anything. And I don't have Oncot with me anymore to negotiate. Fortunately, uh, Yaxa is apparently very fast, so I can kind of probably just run away from everything. Because Yaxa is very fast and very powerful. And I want to go over to here. Which is where I was at here. Which is where I was at earlier. Like, I came into this room in the last episode, saw that it kind of expanded into a larger area. Nothing's showing on screen. Uh, I basically came in here, saw it expanded into a larger area, and kind of just left it. Left it and said, I'll come back. That's four enemies. I don't know what level Nikalon is, but I'm a little bit concerned about it. So, what's going on in here? Oh, there's a terminal! Okay. Wait. Oh, this is the Ueno terminal. Wait. This is... Wait, does this loop... Does this loop into the same place? It did loop into the same place. Interesting. Okay, I didn't ex I did not see that one coming. I didn't think Akihabara and Ueno would be like directly linked, but okay. Uh, I destroyed that stupid TV if I was displayed above city. Some angel came to came to the Tokyo Tower and has been and has been broadcasting footage non-stop. Trying to brain uh, trying to brainwash more pubs in the following they got Odin was starting to piss me off. Okay, so if I if I leave into here, this is yeah. Okay, these two buildings are just directly linked into each other. So I guess I should go up here because this is the only new area, I suppose. Okay, so. Oh, okay. This is a new character. Uh, ah, you must be Kazia. My name is Louis Cipher. Uh, but please call me Louis. Louis. I don't know how. I'm gonna go with Louis. I think. All my friends do. I actually have someone here who's been dying to see you. She says, uh, she says you know her quite well, actually. Uh, I assume, I assume that's a typo, because, like, she says, as you know her, you know here quite well. I assume it's meant to be her, but whatever. 
hey, you want to see Kazuya? He's right over here. Okay, so this is Yuriko. Kazuya, I want to see you again. This didn't turn out right. I was supposed to be the one to be your partner. Uh, but you chose that woman, Yuka, instead. Uh, or perhaps more appropriately, you were chosen by her. I tried to take Ikki away from her, but I failed. And if I can't have you, no one will. Oh, oh, wait. Is this a boss? Oh, no, it is not. Okay. Uh, no, I can't do it. I can't hurt you. Farewell. Okay, so... Oh. <laughs> well, well, Lewis Cypher, you just took the words right out of my mouth. This was certainly unexpected. My apologies. Try not to think too badly of her. So, um, Lewis Cypher is an interesting guy. Almost as if he is, uh... A completely different guy, actually. Almost like it's a, almost like it's an alias of some sort, like the alias of some for, uh, sort of like fallen angel or demon lord or some, you know, kind of primeval harbinger of chaos. Basically, what I'm saying is that that is like, uh, I guess, spoiler warning for like the next two seconds. Yeah, that's Lucifer. I don't think that's, like, particularly complicated, and if you've, like, seen any of the thing, or just, like, and I feel like it's fairly obvious to just piece that together. Anyway, so yeah, that's, so that's that, and, uh, yeah, so I don't know if you, I imagine Yuriko will turn up again later. I hear from a signs of nearly completed the cathedral. Rumor has it that the Gaians are preparing for an assault on it to try to take it over. That is useful information. Because I imagine, I imagine that the cathedral must be the final dungeon. Like, everything has been building towards it for the entire game at this point. Well, for this entire, like, since I got to post-cataclysm, everything has been building towards this cathedral. So surely, that must be the final dungeon in the game. So, where am I? Oh, a weapon stall. Okay. An actual stall, wow. Okay, what can we buy? A golden gun? A Giga Smasher, a Kunitomo something. Okay. Okay, I, I'm, I will keep this place in mind. Because apparently that, because that last weapon was very expensive. Like, that was 100k? That is quite a lot. And an armor store? Game, thank you for giving me access to all of these when I have no money. Okay, the Jag stuff? Okay, so this is definitely wet. So how much, wait, how much is this? That is 50, 90, okay, that's 111,000, if I've done maths correctly. Apologies if I haven't, but I think I have. I hope I have. I have to say, I hope I have, because I'll be totally honest, I, like, I feel confident in my ability to do maths until I, like, I have confidence in my ability to do maths until I have to say it if the answer out loud. At which point, I immediately doubt my ability to do maths. But, uh, well, we're managing. And that's just one Nikal on. I can just fight this. Yeah, because I can just kind of throw hands. However, if... Okay, everyone's getting put to sleep. But I can probably just wake everyone up with Nipatra. And as long as we don't kill anyone, I should be okay. Hobgoblin did take a little bit of a beating, though. And, of course, some... And, of course, a big group of enemies popped up. So I'm going to run away like a big hero. And that's a still rather large group of enemies, so I'm gonna run away like a big hero. And that's a dead end, so I'm gonna walk into it like like a big hero. <laughs> Did that do anything? Okay, the group returned to their senses. That's kind of mean for the game to say they returned to their senses. They were just asleep. It's like they weren't possessed or anything. They were just kind of taking a little nap. Anyway, let's just patch everyone back up. Everyone is close enough to full health. I say that I'm going to use one life stone to fully heal Kazuya. Do I have just one life stone? No, I have a stack of four, though. So, Kazuya is back to full health now, too. And let's continue on through here. I'll be totally honest, I have zero idea where I'm actually going in here. Wait. Okay, I've already talked to this guy. He, he mentioned Ladon. Ladon? Ladon? I don't know. But I'm going to have to go fight that thing. I'm fairly confident in that statement. So, what's in here? Stairs. This go... Okay, these go down. I will keep this place in mind, but I will check out the rest of this floor first. But I definitely will want to go down, 
and back as well, that may lead me into the sewers, which will probably be where Ladon is. Ladon, Ladon, I'm gonna have to stop doing this bit, because I genuinely don't know how to pronounce these things. I think it has an or I think it has an origin in like ancient Greece or somewhere. I okay, I, I say that, but like Okay, I'll be totally honest, I googled it. I'm pretty sure that's from ancient Greece, but I might be wrong. Like, I'll be totally honest. The mythologies, but the mythologies behind everything is are not my strongest. Like they aren't my strongest point, and I couldn't really tell you a massive amount about mythologies just in general. I think mythology is super interesting, but like I don't know the ins and outs of all of it. Like if you ask me for like, hey, hey, who's related to who in ancient Greece? It's like I really don't know. And I've already talked to this guy. And let's keep going over here, I suppose. Because this appears to be a pretty close end to this corridor. And then I'll just go back and check what, what's going on down those stairs. As soon as I stop getting jumped. Okay, this is just one thing. This is just one thing that I beat up like a few episodes ago, so I should be okay to just fight them. You know what? Let's try to talk to Najar again. We'll be friendly again. We'll act unfazed. And we'll make a dominion again. Okay, wants a little bit of money. That's okay. It wants one life stone. I can handle that. It wants a little bit more money. That's fine. It wants another life stone. That's perfectly okay. Thanks, Ninja. Thanks for joining the team. I have another fusion actually planned out for you right now. I'm not going to do it right away, but uh, I do have another fusion for it planned. And I think I've looped back around here. Okay, wait. This is a really bizarre dungeon, I think. Rags. Okay, this is a new area that I haven't been in yet. Wait, welcome to Ginza's Joelia Couture. Um, I am not in Ginza. <laughs> I am pretty far away from Ginza, I think. Uh, so what's in here? Uh, oh no, not a damage floor. 127 damage! Is this, like, percentage damage? Uh... Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go back in here. If I run out of the, if I run out of that room, I imagine I'd get tripped over the damage floor again. So I'm just gonna leave it, and hopefully I can beat up these enemies, and then I won't get jumped again. No? Okay, that's free. Let's try Maragion here. Let's see how much damage we can get out with a Maragion. I'm gonna double down, actually go for the double Maragion cast. And then Yuka can just kind of shoot. And hopefully this is weak to fire. They are not weak to fire. <laughs> so uh, that is kind of useful information. Now the question is, are they weak to light? Are they weak to ice? What are they weak to? I'll be totally honest, since I've had... Actually, since I got rid of Jack Frost, which was many, many episodes ago at this point, I haven't had access to a single uh, ice demon. I haven't used anything that has ice abilities, which I probably should try to fix. Let's try negotiating with these guys, though. We'll take a threatening approach. Uh, we'll ignore it, because I'll be totally honest, I feel really bad. Okay, like, whenever you get mad, a lot of the time the demons will kind of just get upset that you're yelling at them and run away. And I know that I shouldn't, but I can't help but feel a bit bad when I do that. So, I just kind of avoid doing that. Like, I know that, like, I know that, that probably sounds kind of weird, but, like, I, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to, like, look, I know that they're trying to kill me and all, but I don't really want to upset the demons. Oh, these, this is going for Dormini, I'm actually going to make a run for it. I'd rather take the inconvenience, I think. Wait, okay, is that two asleep? That's three asleep. Never mind, I was going to say, yeah, I'd rather take the minor inconvenience. And some fun, like, uh, that words. I was gonna say, I'll, I'd rather take the minor inconvenience of the one, t of the one, uh, step over the damage floor. But if I can just get through this, I should be okay. Hopefully we can just kind of throw hands now, because we... No, okay, werewolf's stun locked. Okay, we put two back to sleep. Yaxa hits for 154. Yaxa hits really hard now. And I assume one of these things is low. You know what, let's just auto battle. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to auto-battle this and just kind of hope up how it, and hope it goes well. And by that I mean, I'm now talking, but I have taken my hands off the controller. I am now just letting the game play itself. And fortunately, we won. And let's... Unfortunately, I'm very glad that the shock status effect goes away. 
like, shock is, like, the temporary version of the paralysis status, which is very good, because I love not having the paralysis status, because it means I can actually move. It, like, it goes away. And let's patch up, uh, Senri. I'll patch up Senri, and then I'll actually have Yuka, like, personally heal out of her demons. So we'll cast Medea once to patch up Hobgoblin a little bit. And then we'll cast Diorama to heal up our werewolf. And then one more cast on that. Uh, then one more cast on that to patch up Kazia. And then we can be on our way. So now I need to find my way back down to get to those stairs. So I need to go through here. And then it was down here. No, wait, it was it? I think it was. It was in... Yeah, it was in here and just to the... And, yeah, it was in here and to the right, I think. And they put Yaxa to sleep again. Great! Okay, I woke up immediately. I love it when... I love it when my demons wake up immediately. So, can we kill this thing? And half my team's asleep. But everyone woke up, aside from Hobgoblin. And let's just talk it out with Nija, because, you know, we do have that. And that's another Nikalon. Again, I don't know... Where does Nikalon come from? I don't know why, but I think it's, like, Irish mythology? Uh, again, massive apologies if I'm just completely wrong on any or everything about this. But I feel, I don't, know, I don't know why, but I think it is Irish myth. Please don't quote me on that. Google is probably, Google is a friend that I should use more. Okay, we are, oh no. This must be a sewer. This must be the sewers. Orphorus. Man, you're level 38. Why are you, why are you here, Orphorus? Like, no, like, no offense meant to him, but why is Orphorus still here? You know what? Let's just run from it. I should be able to run from Orphorus, right? I'm like 15 levels over it. And we're getting jumped. And that is... Okay, okay. Succubus is an enemy type in here again. Okay. Um. Okay, I know... Okay, I know that it'll push me towards... I know that it'll push me towards the chaos... Some, sorry, the law alignment. But I'm going to replace Hobgoblin with Killin just for now. Oh, because I know that in Tokyo Destiny Land, I can push myself back towards it. Uh, in Tokyo Destiny Land, I can push myself back towards neutral. But I can basically cast Estuma in here, and I really want to be able to just use Estuma. Wait, what was that? Oh, a staircase down. Okay, I will be coming back here in just a moment. But I want to investigate what's going on in the rest of here. Is this... Is this Ginza? Did I... Did I find myself back in Ginza? Also, I... Oh, this is really bad, actually. Everyone's getting poisoned. Okay, a treasure chest. We found a core shield. Uh, let's just run across here, I suppose. And I can hopefully get rid of the poison on everyone. This is less than ideal. Everyone is poisoned. Okay, let's just get through here. And now I'll cure all the poisons. So, do I have disc poisons for anything? No, I do not. Of course I don't. Why would I? Okay, so let's cast Pause of Moody on everyone. 10 out of 10, good job on Yuka being the only person to not get poisoned. Also, interesting to note, uh, Kalin, who was previously... Uh, Kalin wasn't actually getting poisoned or damaged by damage flaws when we were in the Messiah building. Maybe uh, Chaos Demons are immune to it in here. Because uh, because Ueno is very much Gaian territory. And Yaxa is still asleep, so let's actually just cast Me Patra as well. It's a little cost on the MP, but uh, I'd rather have uh, I'd rather have everyone awake and able to fight, because now we can head on down here into B2, and I can only assume that this must be a sewer. Like, I assume this must be the sewers, despite using the exact same tile pal palette as Ginza. Okay, what's in here? A treasure chest? A uh, magic incense? Okay. So, let's go up that's Oh, this is evil game design. Oh, okay. We found Drake Lad on. This must be the boss. Okay, yeah, that's definitely a boss. Okay, we're going to hit him with his young guy real quick. We're going to do that. We're going to return kill in. We're going to summon... No. Oh, I can't do that this turn. Okay, okay, okay. I will use just a sword attack on Kazia's turn. I'll try to put it to sleep with that. And then I'll cast Pause Moody to patch up the werewolf. And hopefully we can just make a safe play this turn. And basically, if I can stop... Okay, good to know that uh, Dior... Sorry, Dolmina does not work. 
and apparently this thing may have very good physical defense. Fortunately, I have an alternative backup plan. So we'll hit it with Zyonga. We'll just do a regular attack. Kazia can summon up the Hobgoblin. So let's put that back on the party. And now we can just hit it with Mazanma. Hit it with Zyonga twice. And now I can start basically setting up all of the buffs and just get myself really strong. And then we can just wail on this thing until it dies. Because, well, this thing is kind of gross looking, not gonna lie. Okay, so let's just, uh... Let's do a regular attack, regular attack, hit him with a Tarukaja, uh, shoot the gun, hit him with a Mazanma, and hit him with a Zyonga, and hopefully we can just uh, shock it again, shock it again, boost up our attack, just kind of probably give myself two or maybe three more boosts to physical attacks, and, okay, Yaxa immediately, like, I, yeah, I got Yaxa in this episode, and it's already one of my favorite demons in this game so far. Because it's just hitting like a train. I love it when my demons hit like a train. And, well, it... Okay, I say that, but it's not like one shot and everything. Oh, no. Okay, but this thing's actually going to get to move. So I'll be able to see how much damage it can potentially do. Scorch... Grief Scorching Flames. And that is doing so little damage. What was I worried about? This is a boss? I don't know if I'm overleveled or if this thing is just weak as all hell. So, let's kind of throw hands with it, I suppose. I feel like I can probably just beat it up from here. 77, Yaxa hits for 121. Yeah, I feel like I can probably just beat this up. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe not, maybe not. That was maybe a bad idea. Maybe I should... Maybe I should show this thing a little bit of respect. Uh, let's boost up ourselves with Tarukaja one more time. And then hit him with... I imagine Senri probably does more damage with that now. And we will cast Medea, just to get everyone a little bit of HP. I don't think I'm in danger. Like, I don't think Ladon can kill anything I have from this range. Uh, at 165, 105, 87. Okay, Senri is pretty low. Hobgoblin's pretty low. Werewolf's pretty low. But at the same time, I can probably just patch them all up again. And with the exact same strategy I've been going for. So let's just... So yeah, let's just kind of hit them and go for Medea. And Yuka probably won't run out of SP, sorry, MP, before this thing's dead. Because this thing must be pretty low, I imagine. Because I'm doing a lot of damage each turn. 23, 51, 46, and 40, 55, and 50. Okay, that can hit everyone, credit to it. But, yeah, I don't feel it in, I don't feel like I'm in too much danger right about now. However, I will have Yuka patch up. Uh, werewolf, because honestly, if I lose the Hobgoblin, it's nowhere near as much of a big deal. But Werewolf should be able to finish. No, Kazia, can you finish it off? Yaxa? Okay, Yaxa missed. That's less ideal. Uh, 165, that dies. Werewolf takes a fair a chunk of damage. But I definitely kill this thing off very soon. No doubt in my mind. So let's hit it with Zyonga and stun it again. Because, well, I'm starting to realize maybe I should just make sure this thing can't move. Okay, 24, Kazia hits for 29, Ladon is defeated, and we get 18,000 experience for it, and that actually gives us two levels, so let's put a point in our luck and our speed. Okay, so I imagine Yuka will also get a level up or two here, Yuka goes up two levels as well, so let's give her one point in her intelligence, so now she has way more MP. And also put her another point into speed. Okay, so, Yuka learned a new spell, got money, we got magnetite. There's a treasure box here, will you open it? Uh, you found the golden apple. This must be important. Wait, what was that? Oh, that's just a damage floor, okay. Uh, but it didn't seem to do anything, but it doesn't seem like there's anything here. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here. So now we can just have Yuka cast trap Alt, and we are out of here so let's go over here where was the nearest healer i think the nearest healer was probably back in ikabukuro but i will just for old time's sake go back to shibuya and just use the neutral healer i think because i know because i know that it's a very small change in, in, from healing in each one but i do want to be able to just kind of keep myself on balance if i can and after that, we can go and check out that bridge again back over Encanda. And by that, I mean... 
And by that, I mean it's the only other place I haven't been to unless there's another area that I'm just completely forgetting about. So that's going to be where I go and check out next to see if I can get past Cerberus now. I imagine that the golden apple must have something to do with something somewhere. Because, well, I don't think it would have been dropped by a boss if it wasn't important. So let's quickly just leave Shibuya. Uh, we can now leave Shibuya. And honestly, we might be we might not be coming back here, actually. Depending on the stuff in Tokyo Destiny Land. So I want to go to Ueno now. Honestly, I'm still kind of weirded out how the... Like, Ueno and uh, Akihabara, like, I didn't expect those two buildings to be, like, directly connected. Like, I didn't expect them to be one kind of big circle. Like, that really was not what I was expecting from them, but uh, hey, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain, but I am going to be a little bit confused. And we got no AXP from fighting that, but that's fine. We got another bead, so that's just a nice little healing option. And I should prob- maybe I should summon the Hobgoblin back up. Actually, what I should do is I should bring Neja up, because Neja is a neutral demon. So I have- so I can use that safely. And it also has a lot of health, so I can basically put Kazia on the back line. Kazia does have a ton of health, but also I kind of just want to keep him alive at all costs. And now we just kind of head through this building again. Okay, this is just, this will be a one-turn fight, I think. These are like level 30 enemies, so I can just kind of, I can just kind of breeze through these guys. 143, that's one dead. Kazia just kind of does a ton of damage. Neja does a ton of damage. And Yuka finishes off the second Sightry. And that is, okay, that's a group of Cockatrices. And I will just have everyone else block. Everyone else can block. And Yuka can just cast Mazionga, and that will kill my, right. What is Ramudra? I do not know what Ramudra does. I've never heard of this spell before. And you can now just kills the entire group of cockatrices in one go. Oh, because, well, they are apparently weak to electricity. And now, oh, okay, no, wait, one lived. So let's just kind of throw hands with it, and if they're, they're dead now. And honestly, let's just do the same thing for, for these sourbacks. I think we're like 20 levels over these things now. So honestly, I'm not particularly threatened by these things at all. So, there goes that, and he has a werewolf, so we can just kind of say hello to it, because we have one on in our party, and it is a friend. Okay, so, we also- okay, that's a healthy amount of magnetite we got there. How much magnetite do I have? 13,060. I kind of want to uh, just check how much it costs per step right now. So, I currently have 13,060. Okay, it costs me 7 magnetite per step. That, honestly, isn't all that much. And I can just kind of, well, when in doubt, cast Mahama on, San on Saniyaka, and that will insta-kill them. Because that is number one, number two, and number three, all defeated in a single strike. Because, well, they are weak to the same thing. And that's a Rakshasa. I'm actually going to run from these guys. I know they're lower level than an uh, Yaksa, but I still don't like fighting them. And I think I'm going for it. Oh, I hate these guys. I hate Tengus so much. Please tell me I can get away from them. Okay, I got away from them. Okay, 10 out of 10. Now I can just get out of here and we are back in Kanda. So let's get out of here. So back to Kanda we go. Okay, so we are back in Kanda and I just need to make my way back over towards this bridge. And then we can be on our way to Tokyo Destiny Land. You know, the definitely not digi- not- <laughs> definitely not Disneyland. Okay, so, Beast Cerberus is here. The Golden Apple gave- uh, uh, sorry. The Golden Apple gave off a burst of light. Cerberus returned to his senses. What am I doing here? You're Kazia. I'm glad to see you're still alive. The last thing I remember clearly is getting teleported by that strange machine. It gobbled my senses and I lost my memory. I wandered aimlessly for a while until I en until I finally ended up here as a guard dog for this place. Would you be so kind as to let me join you again? Of course we will. Very, very well, then I shall come with you. I am at your service. Cerberus joined the party. And with that, um, I'm sorry werewolf. But there's only enough room in this party for one beloved dog, and well, look, like you, you are a great, you're a great party member and all. Honestly, you might replace Nejar, but look, 
Cerberus? Cerberus is Pascal. Like, I don't care if he's under-leveled. Like, I'm going to have Cerberus with me. Because he is Pascal the dog. Pascal the dog is here. Unfortunately, he does fall into the same trap that a lot of super powerful things do. Oh, we are now at Tokyo Destiny Land. This is just on an island, okay. So, in we go. Tokyo Destiny Land. Which is definitely not Disneyland. For legal reasons, it is not Disneyland. <laughs> okay, and there's also a guy in place here. Okay, so... This is the TDL comp transmission terminal. Those with valid comps may access at their leisure. So what I'm going to do now is save the game and end off today's episode here because we finally made it to Tokyo Destiny Land and reunited with Pascal the dog. So what I'm going so in in the next episode we're going to start up Tokyo Destiny Land and its wonderful pinkish its wonderful pink and green color palette. So in the next episode we'll be well starting up Tokyo Destiny Land. Thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Okay, later.